Hey Fee fam, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Fee, and if you're not a part of the Fee fam, where well, you really are, don't. don't forget to hit that red subscribe button so you can be a part of the Fee fam. Well, guys, today I'm going to make green plant and party, but before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and make sure to share up this video. So the first step in making my plant and porridge, I normally boil my spices. So I'm going to boil my cinnamon stick, some nutmeg, and I'm using one tablespoon of nutmeg. I'm also using two tablespoons of vanilla. Yes guys, I know I already put cinnamon in my pot. However, I'm gonna put some powdered cinnamon. I'm using half tablespoon of cinnamon. And I'm also adding some salt to enhance the flavor. So I'm gonna allow that to boil while I peel my green plantain. So before you peel a plantain, what you want to do is to put some oil on your hand or if you have gloves, you can go ahead and wear your gloves, but I didn't have any gloves. So I put some oil on my hand just to make sure that my fingers aren't stained. So I'm just gonna peel my plantain. And this is a one, two, three step. You can use your knife to peel it if you don't want to use your fingers. And of course, I'm gonna go ahead and slice my plantain. If you have a bigger blender, then you can cut them to your size, but I have a not so powerful blender, so I'm being very cautious. So I'm using two cups of milk to blend my green plantain. So guys, let me make this clear. You don't have to use milk to blend your plantain. What you can just use is some water, but I prefer milk because milk makes it taste way better. It makes your porridge so creamy, so I go in with my milk. But if you don't have the milk, as I say, you can just use the water. So green plantain is one of those very foody or heavy starch. It's very foody, so you probably want to add more liquid to your pot. So that's why I'm using two cups of milk, and I, I actually use one cup of water to boil those spices. But there's a possibility that you may have to go back in with more water because of how foody um, green plantain can be. I went ahead and I gradually add my plantain mix to my spices. You want to make sure that you stir consistently because if you don't do that, what's going to happen is that your porridge is going to turn into lumps. Just like when you're making any other porridge, you have to stir consistently. That's the same thing that you want to do for this plantain porridge here. Make sure to put your stove onto low medium heat or low heat. So as you can see, I have some lumps in the pot. So what I'm going to do is to add some milk and just keep mixing to get rid of those lumps. So I'm going to close my lid and allow my porridge to cook for approximately 15 minutes. So after the 15 minute was up, I went in with my whisk to make sure that I have absolutely no lumps in my porridge. As you can see, my porridge is creamy and all smooth and that's exactly what you're looking for. So now I'm going to taste my porridge to see if I need to add any more spice to it. And yes, I did. So I went in with some more vanilla and I also went in with some ground mace. So you can just add whatever flavor you like to your porridge. So 
so I'm just adding some more salt to my porridge because I didn't add enough salt to begin with and after adding my salt I'm just going to mix out everything in my porridge just make sure that it's mixed up properly and then I'm going to close my lid and allow that to cook for roughly five minutes So I'm going to go in and add some condensed milk to my porridge and some brown sugar because us Jamaicans, we normally add brown sugar and because we don't want to use all our milk to sweeten porridge because milk is really expensive in Jamaica. So we always half and half. So we use half milk and half sugar. So if you have enough milk at home and you can afford to use just milk to sweeten your porridge, go ahead and knock yourself out. But even when I can afford it, I'm still going to add some sugar because I think the brown sugar give the porridge a really nice taste or flavor. So I am going to add some brown sugar all the time to my porridge. So I can't tell you how much sugar or milk you should use to sweeten your porridge. It's up to you. It's up to your liking. I like my porridge really sweet, so I did add a lot of milk and a lot of sugar to mine porridge is served guys look at my porridge and guys by the look of it you know that this porridge tastes so good it was really good i enjoyed my plants and porridge thank you for watching my video to the end guys i truly appreciate it don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if you're not yet a part of the fee fam don't forget to hit the red subscribe button so you can be a part of my family so you learn something new every week <music>